Why does design play such a dramatic role in today's highly competitive business environment? It's simple. The level of competition is so huge that most companies, regardless of industry, have nearly the same uh, features and benefits. In such conditions, uh, the choice of buyer is determined by the aesthetic appeal of the product, uh, its packaging and uh, advertising materials. Therefore, even uh, the lower quality but uh, better packaged offer can win. Hi. My name is Alex and I have over 15 years of experience in design, with the last 8 years uh, leading product design at Look Digital Signage. And today I'm glad to introduce you our absolutely new and uh, free of charge video course fully dedicated to content design for digital signage. This is just the first episode and there will be several more to come, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell so you don't miss them. Digital signage has become an integral part of modern communication, transforming traditional static print media into dynamic, engaging and interactive tools. And it doesn't matter if they are used for advertising, spreading messages or enhancing the overall ambience of your premises. So, you've installed your new digital screens and are ready to take your communications to the next level. There is one little detail left without which everything is useless. And yes, I'm talking about content, which is actually God, as they say. And this is where vivid eye-catching digital signage design should come into play to engage your audience and successfully convey the message or vibe you want. Well, in today's episode we will talk about the most common types of digital signage and the basic content design principles for each of them. Content design on digital signage has completely different principles of uh, readability than print design, as the nature of digital signage is dynamic. One content item is replaced by another one, your customers are gaining information on the go often performing other tasks in parallel. None of this is uh, conducive uh, to deep and uh, thoughtful uh, consideration of your message. You have about 3 seconds uh, to convey uh, the main idea to the viewer. If you fail to engage your audience during this short time frame, there is a 90% chance uh, that you will lose them. That's why, for example, colors should be contrasting and the headline is readable, short and clear. Content for digital signage cannot be developed without taking into account the environment where uh, the screen itself is located and the distance uh, to the potential viewer. For example, a screen installed in the elevator is located almost uh, in front of your eyes. In addition, such a screen is located in an enclosed space and we know for sure that uh, our target audience uh, will interact with it for a certain time. In this case, uh, we can add more details and meaningfulness uh, to our layout. The opposite situation is um, with uh, an advertising LED billboard or video wall located along the traffic or in a crowded environment. In such conditions, uh, user interaction with uh, content is fleeting and quick. Here, the principle of uh, clarity and simplicity is more important than ever. While designing your layout, always keep in mind uh, who you are talking to. A youthful tone of voice is unlikely to be effective with an older audience, nor vice versa. Design is the language you use to convey information to your audience, so speak to them in their language. One of the biggest advantages of digital signage over print media is the ability to utilize uh, dynamic content. And you know what? You just have to do this. Why? Well, at a minimum because dynamic signs capture uh, the attention of your audience 400% more than static ones. So, if you are not going to use video and uh, animation in your layouts, you simply don't need digital signage. Motion animation not only draws attention better, but also gives uh, an extra dimension to your layouts. I mean time. Remember the first principle of uh, keeping it sweet and simple. If you have a long message, uh, you can convey it uh, in motion by breaking your message uh, into several shorter ones using eye-catching animation. 
Another major benefit of digital signage is the ability to use interactive scenarios that improve user experience involving them in direct interaction with your content. You can easily build uh, any interactive cases for your touch screens uh, even without writing a single line of code. Well, for instance, Look.js provides this opportunity with no extra cost. When creating an interactive scenario, the main thing is uh, to take into account the basic rules of uh, usability with minor amendments uh, to the distinctive features of digital science. Again, simplicity and uh, brevity will be high on the list. Try not to overload your design with a huge number of uh, buttons and uh, transitions. Remember that a digital signage screen is not a website or a mobile app uh, that the user can interact with uh, for a long time and um, return to it at any moment. I would recommend using no more than 5 or 7 interactive elements uh, or buttons on one screen. Also, make sure that the interactive elements on your screen look like, how to say, interactive elements, because not all users may realize that the screen is touchable and can be interacted with. This means uh, that the button should look like, again, like a button, and contain a call to action that will make it clear what will happen when it's clicked. Maintain brain consistency for colors, fonts, visuals and techniques especially if you have several locations. A customer who has faced your brand somewhere before coming to your other establishment needs to understand that this is the same company. By maintaining consistency, you also increase your brand awareness. And this is huge. Just remember popular fast food chains such as McDonald's, KFC or Starbucks, whose restaurants look almost identical anywhere in the world. Well, in concluding this episode, I would like to once again highlight the main points. Successful digital signage design involves um, understanding specific screen characteristics and following key principles such as message relevance, consistent branding, as well as uh, the use of vivid and dynamic content. By applying these principles and learn from good and bad examples, you can create a compelling digital signage that efficiently communicates your message and engages uh, your audience. By the way, with the Look.ds solution, you can create content taking into account all the above principles. And uh, to make it even simpler for you, uh, we have prepared dozens of editable free templates uh, for different industries that you can easily customize uh, to suit your needs. Just follow the link in the description and take advantage of the 14-day free trial to see for yourself. There are several episodes more to come where we will dive deeper into the key principles of graphic and interactive design uh, and learn about uh, a lot of useful software tools, including free options. We will also take a closer look at examples of DS design from oh gosh to oh my god and talk about inclusivity for the prism of digital signage. So, stay tuned uh, for the next episode that will become available on our channel already next week. If you liked this video, don't forget to put your thumbs up. Alex was with you. Bye!